Welcome to another wonderful episode of Made Fit TV. I'm your host, Jennifer DiDonato, and this is episode number 35. Uh, Made Fit TV is everyone's source for health and fitness information and entertainment, just in case you didn't know. Today's episode is a very, very important topic that I want to talk about because I've been getting, over the past few months, email after email about back problems. And uh, one in particular that kind of prompted me to do this this episode, because I've been wanting to for so, so much, you know, for a long time now, but... Um, uh, Drake Valentine, also known as uh, Adam, he's from Louisville, Kentucky, he emailed me and said, you know, he doesn't have a gym membership, you know, right now times are tough just with the economy and everything, everyone feels it, and he's got a lot of back problems, got some back issues, he's not sure how to strengthen his back, so I wanted to devote this episode to um, back pain prevention, that is what today is about, and I just want to put it out there right now, um, I am not a doctor. And even if I were, I cannot diagnose any back issues or give you any specific suggestions as, as to, um, you know, isolated problems with back because there are so many different types of back problems ranging from cervical to thoracic to lumbar region. You have bulging discs. You have um, uh, sciatic nerve issues. There's so many different, you know, degenerative discs. So there are a lot of different issues here, and a lot of it is related to other things that you may be doing in your day-to-day -day life. So just want to tell you that please consult your doctor if you have any specific and serious problems with your back. But today is just about back pain for prevention and simple things you can do every day to make sure that you're keeping your back nice and strong and also preventing any injuries or any pain. Now, big contributors to back pain, and we can put this up along the side, Chris, for the notes so people know, is that causes for back pain and injuries, some of it is genetics. Sometimes you're just predisposed, you know, maybe a little bit of scoliosis. Another is misuse. If you haven't been to the gym in a while and you lift up a heavy weight and you're not lift and you're lifting it improperly, you're going to throw your back out. And also overuse as well. If you are doing too many repetitive movements over and over again, wear and tear on the back. And then also, of course, a sedentary lifestyle. Sitting at a computer. I know a lot of us do it. Me, Twitter. So, you know, we want to make sure that you're not injuring yourself. Some of us are sitting at computers for 10 hours a day. So that's doing damage to your back possibly. So you want to address that. Now, Back injuries, like I said, they involve the bones because of um, any scoliosis. Um, they also involve muscles, nerves, joints. That's why there's a plethora of different injuries that I can't just address all in one question and in one answer. So we're going to touch on some things right now. Now, it involves flexibility. I'm going to start first. Flexibility is really important in maintaining um, a straight back and also preventing injury. So flexibility, you can put this up along the side. That's the number one thing we want to work on. I'm going to show you some stuff. First of all, I'm going to take a stability ball, and this is called, and you can even do this at your desk at work, this is called a lower back chair stretch with a pull. So I'm just going to sit on the stability ball. Um, so you're just going to sit upright, back nice and straight, bring your legs about 90 degrees out. I want your feet to be parallel to um, each other and about hip width apart. And you're just going to come down, bring your head to your legs, and bring, clasp your hands underneath and round your back. And then I want you to pull up. And what this pulling up is doing is that this is also stretching the upper back. So you're stretching the low back by rounding, and now you're stretching the upper back by pulling. It creates some resistance. So that's just loosening up the tight muscles, especially if you've been sitting at your desk for a really long time. And that just gets things back into alignment a little bit more so you're not um, prone to injury. Another flexibility movement I'm going to show you that's really, really important also because it involves the hips. The hips, if anything is out of alignment or tight, it's going to force maybe other body parts out of alignment as well because you may be overcompensating. So if you have tight hips, it may cause you to walk with um, maybe a slight gimp. You may not even realize it. And then it may tighten up stuff in the back and it's going to lead to the shoulders. Everything is related. So that's why we want to address it. So with flexibility, this next one is going to be a twisting hip stretch. So I'm going to have you lay on the ground. Go ahead and pop up those notes too. I'm going to have you lay on your back. Let me just remove my mic pack right here. Okay. Arms at your sides and I want you to bring one leg up. We'll start with your uh, right and I want you to twist off to the side. But when you're twisting, I want you to try and hold your right hip down as your right leg is going this way. I want you to try and hold that down just and just twist and just hold that, breathe normally. You're gonna hold this for about maybe 20 to 30 seconds, and then we're gonna switch. And this really loosens up, ooh, I can feel it. My, uh, my left hip is a lot tighter than my right, but you can feel it through um, 
the, the hamstrings, the hip adductors, the piriformis, the glutes, all the way up to the lower back, and you're stretching that out. So this loosens it up a little bit and also helps loosen up the uh, hips, which is a big contributor to a lot of people for some minor back pain. Now we um, address flexibility. The other facet that we need to address with um, low back pain is stability, stabilization, and balance. We're going to go back to the fit ball. So that's the number two thing. We got flexibility in number one, stabilization and balance is number two. So I'm going to have you um, grab your fit ball and I'm just going to have you take a seat. Okay, so you're sitting on the stability ball. I want you to stand up nice and tight, nice and straight, hands on your hips, and you want your feet to be parallel to each other, toes pointing forward, and you're just going to alternate lifting your legs. Now, I know it kind of looks a little bit simple, but when you lift one leg, it's going to force you to go off to the side. So what you want to do is keep your center, because what this is doing is it is strengthening your core, not just the front, but also the lower back. And you want to make sure you're keeping your abs in your chest up and make sure you're keeping your back nice and straight. So that's a good stabilization and balance exercise. Now, the number three thing that's very important to um, low back uh, pain prevention is strength and functionality. Functionality, just the way our body is working and different um, body parts working together and working properly and functionally, of course. So I'm gonna grab a set of weights. I chose red, you know, because Valentine's Day is in a couple days, so you like that? Okay. Grab some light weights, maybe five to 10 pounds. If you haven't been doing this in a while, guys, just grab like two pounds or even just water bottles if you haven't been in the gym in a while. So find a wall, follow me over here. I'm gonna have you just put your butt right flat against that wall, okay? I want your legs to be parallel to each other, toes pointing forward. And what I'm gonna have you do is while maintaining a straight back, I just want you to hinge at the hips. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you the name of this. This is um, a, a wall deadlift to shoulder blade squeeze or scapula contraction, but we'll just keep it at shoulder blade squeeze. Okay, so you're holding the weights and your palms are facing each other and you're just gonna hinge at the hips. See how my back is not rounding? None of this. You know, I always yell at you guys, don't do this. You wanna keep it nice and straight. So you're just gonna keep your butt against the, the, um, the wall. You can bend your legs slightly if you like to, because I know sometimes the hamstrings can be tight. So you're just gonna come forward, so your back's parallel to the ground and you're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades and then bring it back up. And repeat, so all the way down, this is working the lower back and upper back. And what this is doing is it's working the scapula muscles and all the traps, rhomboids up in the upper back. And this helps you with your posture. And this helps when you strengthen those muscles around your spine, it helps in stabilizing the spine as well. And it helps with functionality as well. So the deadlift is an awesome exercise. The reason, though, I want you guys to do this uh, against the wall is because it, it supplies you with support. Now, I do have a podcast um, on back exercises that shows you how to do a correct deadlift. If you feel like this may be a little too beginner, check out that podcast. It's on madefittv.com. And if you have any questions about any of the exercises that we did today, please email me at askjenny on madefittv.com. You can email me your questions. And um, a lot of these questions become topics for the show. Out. And I always email everyone back very promptly within 24 hours because I'm constantly working. So I want to hear from you and I really appreciate your input. And if you have any questions about today, any specific questions, please email me because I'd rather you ask the question and have me answer it before you go out and maybe do something wrong. So, um, and also subscribe to these videos at madefittv.com because these will just upload and, um, you know, as soon as we upload them, we're just, it's just going to email right to you, and then you can just watch it right there as opposed to having to subscribe to any other um, video feeding network. So also I'm on Twitter. I'll let you know if I'm on Ustream through Twitter. So follow me there because you get all the updates on what we're doing week by week, day by day. And I'm at Jenny DiDonato. And also I love friends. Friend me up on Facebook. I'm Jennifer DiDonato on Facebook. So, um, and hey, you know what? Just to end it off, you know, like I said, we have Valentine's Day coming up in a couple days. Uh, question of the day, in the comments section below, just answer me one question. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? Let me know. I like food, so that's what I kind of want to do. I want to have, like, maybe um, sushi or something. So let me know what you're doing. So thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Made Fit TV.